You ain't up on that. This is part two. Chocolate Amara special. Let me ask you a question. Do you really want to build? Do you really want to build? Do you really want to build? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to keep talking about the same old things. Last year, year before that, year before that. It's time for a new generation to start spilling that to pass that information on to the next generation. I mean, you don't think so? Let's think about this for a minute. Of all you're gonna do is continue on talking about the same old thing, but no progress of stitching and begin to pull this rope to be successful. Tulsa Homa, they had a blueprint. Someone knew how to fly a plane. Somebody, someone knew how to cultivate the ground. Someone knew how to do barbershop. Someone knew how to be a school teacher. Someone knew how to do production. How do you think they were successful in their own community? And the money stayed in house. Sound familiar? Well, who does that? Think about it. I don't want to tell you the answer. You live in a society that's real super sensitive. If I say something that you don't like, or you don't understand, or you don't get, don't you know that people are ready to jump ship? Hmm? Think about it. They quick to jump ship. Hmm? Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. When I look at my page, I see people, I mean I got 60 people follow me, next I got 70 people follow me, the next year it drops down to 50. Let me explain something to you. This is my journey. You gotta go on your journey. And I'm not here to hold your hand. I've been told you that before. You ain't got to follow me. I'm still trying to figure out the people who's following me now. Why are you doing it? You know what I mean? You're not. We're not calling each other to meet up and try to find a way how we can come up with an establishing, put our money in a bank. And somebody be a treasurer, a bookkeeper. Um, Somebody's going to be a field supervisor to find the land that we need to put to, 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 to make an establishment and then build our institution. Anybody wants to do that. We just all want to sit down and be on the computer. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Some of you are just walking and striding the fence. I, Some of you, I don't think y'all should even be, um, you know, doing anything. Just stay where the fuck you you at. You're comfortable. You're comfortable in what you're doing. See, I admire guys like Sionetta Polite and, and um, so many others. Because they go out there. Blue pill, red pill. All these pills. I'm not saying these names. I don't want to fucking like so I just, I just, I watch these. I study these guys. You know, I love their work. They don't stop because of a hater. But they know they have to elevate their work. Nature Boy. Nature Boy is uh, Costa Rico. Costa Rico. Where they snatched his ass up, him and his, and his melanation, and threw him in a fucking, um, in jail. For some small bull crap. Which he should have took care of his business. But. When you truly believe in what you believe in. That's not going to stop you. 
See, if you believe in what you believe in, it ain't gonna stop you. No money, your job, your church, nothing's gonna stop you. If you truly believe in your African heritage, your African spirituality, but then you wanna elevate that, elevate your Illuminati, the real Illuminati is the, Illuminati is not about the shit that you see on rappers and all that other crap. The true Illuminati is a person who has the secrets of knowledge. The secrets to knowledge. And they just don't pass it all to anybody. So if you have somewhat of knowledge, you gotta pass it on to the right people. Because everybody can't swallow this. And everybody can't because they're too co-native, dishonest. They are too institutionalized. Understand this. And one, one, of the, one of the simplest problems we have is because if you go one way of the knowledge and you disagree on the way I'm approaching it and delivering it, He's pseudo, he's fake. Nobody's fake. There's no fakeness. The minute you pick up the book and start to read it, you're already consumed. The question is, is how deep you want to go? How deep you prepared to go down the rabbit's hole? Who are you fooling? Now, I will tell you this. We've been on a real roller coaster ride. But the truth is the truth. I know a lot of us be, you know, constructive criticism. And I'm going to be honest with you, we need that. We need that constructive criticism because a lot of you, you, you need to be shaken up, you need to be woken. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to hold your motherfucking hand. And I use foul language. Because I felt like it. You know what I mean? When you start letting people dictate how you think and how you work and how you move. Through the African system. Now I'm going to tell you something. I want you to hear me. You have African people who don't like you. And I know you'd be like, oh, he make it up. You ain't never went to Africa. You haven't. And there's African people here in New York City. And probably African people where you live in. If they are. But I know here in New York, we got plenty of African people. And some of them could be nasty. Without no hesitation. And, and be like, you, you're black. You black, I'm African. Keep your blackness over there. Then you might get this one African that understands the concept that we all the same. Now how's that? So it's confusing. This war that's going on. Remember I told you in part one? It's a war going on. And it's all you. And always will be you. You think not. <laughs> you don't believe it. Because you don't want to believe it. You choose not to believe. You only want to believe what is comfortable for you. You only believe what's comfortable for you. This is why you don't believe it. I made it so simple for you. It's a war going on and you're in it. War in your house. War with your children. War with the community. War in your church or any institution that you go to. And war at your job. That's 24 seven. Let's stop playing games. And it's Spread out. You can't go to your family member and they don't know the things that you do. They're going to get defensive 
and want to challenge you by using religious description, subscription rather, excuse me. You know that's what they're going to do. And try to rebunk you, debunk you, debunk you in any fashion, any kind of way. Make no mistake. Christianity, the way it's used, is not used in the proper form. But we need Christianity. We need it because it already has its foundation. We need the pastor, the preacher, the reverend, the deacons to transform their formula and dig in and really do their research because they went to school from this European religious concerts. That's what they did. They didn't do their own research. A lot of them didn't even realize that Jesus wasn't even a white man. A lot of them to this day, they shouldn't even be calling them Jesus. Because once it stops at Jesus, and then it, he moves a little ahead with the Hebrews, the Hebrews call him Yosha. They don't even call him Jesus. I mean, excuse me, they don't call him Yosha. They call him Jesus like everybody else. And the Jesus was created 325 AD when it had the Council of Nyssa. Constantine and the bishops. It was supposed to be, I think, 2000, I think 2300. Not actual fact, but I know it was supposed to be two thousand over 2000. Bishops. And let me, let's get it twisted. The majority of them were black. Don't get, don't get it twisted, y'all. History has been altered. Some of you probably already know. This thing is a war. Understand the facts. Understand it. Can you? Can you understand the facts? Would you? Could you? Could you understand it? Or do you want to? I'm about to get off. You will be seeing me do a, a whole entire video is going to be totally different because I just went through experience and I've learned something new I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very different from what, to how I approach things from now on I want y'all to know that and I'm also gonna, I'm gonna stay raw but I'm gonna, I'm gonna approach it differently I'm gonna still have school sessions on Sundays that is a mandatory you know gotta have my schools on Sundays but I need some of you to step up. I need some of you to step up and start to branch yourself out and spread the word. Some of you still talking in two different tones. You talking about Jesus, one thing, and next you know, you still trying to collaborate with what the hell's going on in the African system. You're straddling the goddamn fence. You want to be safe? The Creator have gave us the ability to think and to create. This is not a difficult situation. This is not a uh, 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 a battlefield you only call it on the name that you was taught the last 50 years or the last 100 and most of us right now ain't not close to 100 in your way probably our mothers or fathers or our grandmothers but I can say 100 they give us some leeway 
Real talk. Step up. Step out of your realm. Step out of your comfortness. You're too comfortable. You think that you got a nice house, a nice car, a nice apartment. Your marriage is going good and everything. So right now, you're just comfortable. I ain't got to do nothing. Some of you will call you. You're not cold. You're not hot. You're lukewarm. Revelation chapter 3, verses 16. Research it. I vomit you out my mouth. I vomit you out my mouth. I'm regurgitating the scripture. Because some of you really walk that way. You really walk that way. You got to go all in. And number one thing that I don't appreciate, everybody's trying to be a goddamn chief, but you ain't making moves like a chief. Step up to the plate. Bring in the people. Do videos where people see you in action. Step up. Go outside and let the community see you, who you is. Real talk. Walk that walk. Talk that talk. Be who you're supposed to be. Stop being scared. Oh. First of all, let me ask you this question. Why you want me on your page? Who told you to friend me? To friend me on Facebook? So obviously, when you see my page, I had to tell you something. I'm curious. What the hell you want from me? I'm the messenger. Or you just need add another person to your list because you want them to um, kiss your, uh, your behind and you want them to talk nice to you and, and, and say beautiful things to boost your ego. Some of y'all like that. You know, you could, you could unfriend me, you know, because I'm not on Facebook and YouTube on here for you like me, I'm here as a messenger. I'm a messenger. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a deacon. I'm not a scholar. I'm not a mathematician. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an astronomer. God damn it, I'm not, I don't even collect rocks. But what I do collect is books on ancient history and documents on ancient history and I start to put the puzzles together and I start listening to other great scholars but find their weaknesses and their strengths and now I have injected this most powerful thing in the world knowledge and now I'll be able to see and, and hear things that normally could understand and listen to the ancestors speak to me speak to me I can hear them clear as a bell these are the things that you're going through and you're fighting it you're going oh that's the angels they wasn't called angels at one time It wasn't. Your ancestor was your angel. Hmm? And then all of a sudden, the angels were white wings and white faces. This is how you view an angel? This is how you see? I'm not telling you you ain't got to look at it like that. I'm telling you your common sense. 
Where are we at with this? You at war with yourself. Let's keep it real. Who you battling? You don't believe nothing. Most of y'all believe that you on this journey because you've been watching a lot of things on TV. You've been watching how the law took things in their own hands and destroyed a lot of our men and women in the melanin race. But understand the concept. You got people that turn around and say, well, you've been destroying yourself. And you go, oh, we don't want to hear that. Yeah, you need to hear that. Because that's just as truthful as the law destroying our melanin people. When you got people just focusing on other people and jealous of the things they got, jealous of how they walk the path of righteousness, walk the path of a narrow road, it's a discipline technique you need to have. That's why you need to meditate. You need to get in different sanctions to understand the seven chakras, the crystals. You need to meditate to understand what's inside you, what's inside your flesh. Understand the symbols. Understand our moon. You say our man, and our man is real. It's another deity. How are we mixing all these things together? You're at war with yourself. You're learning every day. There ain't no, I know everything. You cannot know everything. You will not know everything because there's a war inside you and you're still trying to put it together and every time you go left there's a bump every time you go right there's a bump you can't sleep at night there's some nights you can sleep real good and some nights you sleep so terrible because you got all these things going in your head and all these things is talking to you all these things sound like confusion oh my god is it you at war with yourself. I keep telling you. Either you're going to cross over and make that journey your journey, or you're going to keep straddling this, this fence. Hot and cold. You look warm, and I got to vomit you out my mouth. Can't help you. Some of you be on, on these social medias, somebody say something, you get all twisted. How you know they talking about you? You feel guilty, don't you? You feel guilty. You feel guilty, that's why you do that. You feel guilty, you start making these inner posts, these, these little these posts, and like, to, to me, so you can feel good, so you can strike back out. <laughs> Real talk. You at war. You don't want to know the truth. Why are you in your journey and as you're going through your journey? Make sure you know the good and the bad of our people. Because there's people out there, they're going to spit that information in your face. They're going to see how you handle it. Real talk. They're going to put that information in your face and see if you can handle it. Learn the good, the bad, and the ugly about our people. Learn the good, the bad, and the ugly about the ancient civilization. If you're in Kemetic, great. If you're in Sumerian, Babylonian, Hebrew, Moors, learn the good, the bad, and the ugly. So when you're challenged, you won't get stuck. You won't pull back and start talking about 
Oh, it don't matter. Nah, you stand right there. And as they say, go, yeah, my peoples, they were psycho. You hear me? You look at somebody and go, oh, the human race is going to destroy themselves eventually. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. That's when a person don't care about himself or, or he just tired of how he living or her or how she living. If you don't know that the sun sustains you and give you life, you don't belong here. Your God as a representation is the sun. That's it. You don't need nothing else. The creator created the universe and put that sun smack in the middle. Three rocks. Three rocks. Earth. You have war. With yourself. You hear me? You have war with yourself. I know you have them nightmares, you can't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. And some of you, I'm gonna be honest with you. Some of you, you thought about leaving, giving up, giving up the African spirituality. And some of you don't even want to really cross over. So you parlay in. This is your history. This is your life. It's you. You think as you under the Christianity banner, well that has been copied off the original text. The comedic text was copied. Understand that. The only way you're gonna know is do research. And you put them both together. I've gave you names. Ashar Quasar. He's a master teacher of the Kemetic system. Download it. Download information. Dr. Ben gonna tell you the same thing. Dr. Henry Clark's gonna tell you the same thing. Africa. All that's Africa. Africa got over 50 nations. 13 nations betrayed Africa. 13 nations betrayed Africa and sold their own people. If you're ready to get into this, you gotta get the good, the bad, and the ugly. And what I need you to do is start supporting your black owned companies. You got all the patience in the world for everybody else's products. Your body products that can mess up the sneakers or the perfume, whatever. You'll take it back. Oh, excuse me, something wrong with this, and they'll give it to you. Huh? Or you you bought things online, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it it didn't arrive to your house yet. But you'll call them up. Oh, I haven't got um, this product yet. And then you're going to be good and patient. But then when a black person, you, when you do it on the black products, you scream, oh, you see, I never bought this stuff. Stop fooling yourself. And another thing, y'all, I'm about to get off. December the 30th, Daishiki, wear it. Wear your daishiki. I already posted that up. I think I'm going to post it again. I, not December, it's October, excuse me. October the 30th, wear your daishiki. Represent. Yo, you see me representing all the time. I ain't lukewarm. I'm thirsty and I'm still learning. Peace. Still learning, y'all. Every day, always find something new.